साइंस इन एवरी डे लाइफ रोल ऑफ साइंस इन एवरी डे लाइफ मैन साइंस थ्रू एजेस मैन इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन नेचुरल रिसोर्सेस फॉर हिज प्राइमरी नीड्स फूड क्लॉथिंग एंड शेल्टर विच आर नेसेसरी फॉर हिज सर्वाइवल एर्ली मैन फेस्ड मेनी डिफिकल्टीज बट ओवरकेम दैम एंड बीकेम ए सिविलाइज मैन विद द हेल्प ऑफ साइंस ओनली साइंस इज a quest for truth a systematized body of knowledge a way of life early men lived in caves he used stones to hunt animals ate raw flesh and led a nomadic life he observed nature and his surroundings keenly he produced sparks of fire by striking one stone to another he burnt dried leaves and twigs to make fire and learn to cook food scientists critically observe everything they search for reason behind everything they try to find out why and how a thing happens in this process they collect the necessary information and conduct many experiments to verify the results early men who observed and experimented with his surroundings to obtain results may be considered as our first scientist early men while wandering observed seedlings flowers fruits and seeds all these were part of his food after observing the germinating seeds he learned how to sow seeds and raise crops he invented tools to make his work easy in the same manner he started observing discovering and exploring different things in his surroundings he developed scientific knowledge and gradually reached a higher civilized modern age we wear clothes to protect our body from cold sun and rain early men used leaves and animal hides to cover his body later he used clothes made of yarn cotton thread is obtained from cotton plant silk thread is from silkworm and wool from sheep cotton silk and wool are natural fibers nowadays artificial fibers like rayon nylon decron terrine and polyester are synthesized using chemistry a branch of science these artificial fibers are being used to meet the clothing needs of our growing population early men who lived in caves and tree hollows learned to build huts then he learned various methods of constructing houses and huge constructions construction of houses helped him to protect himself from enemies and wild animals now we are able to build multi-storied building complexes for residential and commercial usage wheel and the machines using wheel were invented with these inventions the journey of man bit started with bullock cart passed way to modern means of transport like car train ship aeroplane etc similarly modern means of communication like radio telephone tv cell phone internet through computer are bringing the people living in different regions of this earth closer role of science in different fields science medicine let us see how science has helped the mankind to keep himself healthy louis pasteur an eminent scientist proved that presence of microorganisms in air water and soil harmful microorganisms cause dreadful diseases to protect ourselves from such diseases 
vaccines were invented. Smallpox is eradicated from our country by vaccination. Now, polio is being eradicated through the program called Pulse Polio, in which polio drops are administered to all children. Many children are protected from diphtheria, whooping cough, and tetanus by giving them a vaccine called DPT, triple antigen. Alexander Fleming discovered an antibiotic called penicillin which helped to control many diseases. Modern science has successfully controlled many diseases, reduced infant mortality and increased average lifespan of man. Now, science is progressing towards finding suitable drugs to cure cancer, AIDS and other dreadful diseases. Science Industrial Development Various industries were established to meet the needs of growing population. Example, fertilizer factories, power generating centers, oil refining factories, iron and steel factories, pharmaceuticals, coal industries, automobile manufacturing industries. Science plays an important role in the establishment and management of these industries. Science Food Production We get energy from the food we take. Food is obtained from plants and animals. Higher food production became inevitable to meet the needs of growing population. Through research, new, better varieties of rice, wheat, jowar, etc., which are disease resistant and give high yield were produced. This led to green revolution. In the same way, better varieties of animals like cattle producing more milk, sheep and hens giving more meat, hens laying more eggs were developed. Fish and prawns of high quality were also developed. Science, peace and human welfare. Science also led to problems of environmental pollution and overpopulation. It has also created a deadly weapon called nuclear weapon. The use of nuclear weapon produces radioactive dust which is harmful to human beings, plants and animals. Man is responsible for the environmental pollution caused due to use of pesticides, artificial fertilizers, smoke emitted from vehicles and industrialization. As a result, Man is causing harm to other living forms. Science should be used for the welfare of all living forms and for peace. Science should be useful in the sustenance of human life as well as other beings. Mankind should adopt the principle of live, let live for leading his life.